I am Nag, and Anime Last Stand just dropped a part 2 of their Bleach Thousand Year Blood War update, and apart from the horrible update time as usual, I'll have to give it to them. I think this one is quite a lot better than the ones we've had recently, and shows ALS is here to stay, in my opinion. Oh boy, yet another 6.40 AM update. Let's go. Thousand Year Blood War Part 2. 15 Events and Evils. New Wanderike. Wanderike. I don't know how to say that. Raid Currency. Raid Shop. Infinite Capsule. They mean Infinite Castle Capsule. Bro, I I didn't even do the last one, bro. I, I, I'm so tired of doing Infinite Castle. It's so annoying. The last thing was garbage. <laughs> I, f I felt like, bro, why, why am I even doing this? Oh, cleanse were added. Ooh, that's what gets. What's the battle pass unit? Oh, it's this guy. I don't, was this power already revealed in the anime? I don't remember. New enemy attacking system. Just like Vanguard. Okay, so the new raid is only world true. Let's go. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, you can see the, the raid drops now. You can see the reroll drops as well. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even know what the rates for the characters were before. I don't know why I was in world one, by the way. Why am I in the public server? Ah, yeah. We'll never get fixed. <laughs> we'll never fix this. Uh, I'm assuming there's no character, no new character in Better Three. Yeah, it's all raid stuff. I know one of the units is Rukia, but I, I don't have any Rukias, which I'm pretty sure she's like an epic. So Ichigo, does he? Yep. Is he the one that becomes Mugetsu? Yeah, he becomes Godly Mugetsu. Plus 50% damage for all units until wave five. <gasps> That's the waves that matter. What? Hundred cosmic essences, enhanced hollow essence. I'm assuming there's like a insane quest for this, so this video is not gonna <laughs> forget. Oh, that's a that's an NPC. Oh yes, you there. Approach and do not dawdle. I've never seen that word before. Okay, you're gonna give me a quest or what? I'm not I'm not reading all this. There it is, soul token. And is there a unit drop? Eisen. Oh, it's a different Eisen. And there's the tier six. Portal right there. So Monster Eisen drops there. With the Soul Token, you can buy the, the totems that increase your damage in the raid, I assume. Oh, that's the material to evolve Ichigo. So the biggest grind is not that. It's uh, probably Godly. Oh, they put... Okay. Moonless Sky. Obtain Ichigo Hollow Form. You mean... The one I have? I'm pretty sure that's completed. Collect soul tokens, collect whatever this is. Energy, complete quest line. If it's just like the <laughs> horrible Jojo quest line, I'm not looking forward to it. It doesn't really say what element the enemies are here, so I'm just gonna go in and see what happens on this raid. Yeah, Rukia is right there, so I'm assuming the epic Rukia becomes uh, Bankai Rukia. This map is... Am I insane? Well, I need to pull this up in a second. Let me just place my character real quick. Oh, they are... Okay, so Benimaru. A million in stage one? Okay, guys. I, let me let me move this. I know you wanted to implement keybinds, which is cool. Like, I'll take it. Like, I'll take I'll take the, the keybind implementation, but that's ugly, bro. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> that's so ugly. I'll take it. I'll take that there's a keybind implementation. Like, I'll, I, I appreciate it. So, I'm not complaining that it is implemented. Like, that's sick. But <laughs> oh, no, the base is scaled the base had only like 600 health before but now it has 3.5 mil okay 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 because uh, it wasn't a patch note the base now has scaling ah i won't say i'll say it i pushed that a lot in the last video there's a bunch of things ca that came in this update that i saw in the patch notes that i personally asked to be implemented and they all improve the game like legit I i'll show more in a sec just finish this raid i'm surprised there's no uh button to see ability on benimaru here i guess it's only gonna be for passive units but you know how vanguards they just count like burn as a passive which i mean i guess <laughs> they could have done that here oh yeah it's his passive right there plus that's not his passive <laughs> You're so close. Go just passive. Apply infinity to enemies that they that get close to this unit. But what is infinity? You know what I mean? Like, I know what it is because I've used the unit before. But what do you mean? What, what is infinity? There's no info on what infinity is. <laughs> Baby steps. You know, I'll take what we have. <laughs> <laughs> what's asking his passive? is gonna be his uh yeah oh yeah damage and range increase until wave 15 but like what's the percentage you know how in vanguards i hate saying that but you know how in vanguards it says the percentage oh i just saw a pop-up okay the lobby lag uh 
Moonless sky, yep, it, it completed, that's cool. So if it's uh, all light, then I'm just gonna put my dark team, since, uh, yeah, might as well. So there's a big thing here, trait skip. So you can actually select what traits don't ask for confirmation, I'm pretty sure. So let me, let me select everything except Overlord Avatar, where's Glitched? I guess Glitched, you can't even select to skip it. At least I don't see it. Uh, let's get like a random character here, Urahara. So before you would ask if I want to confirm rerolling Vulture, now it doesn't, which is really great for using auto clicker. If you have been in a situation where you're doing like a thousand rerolls at a time and it clan day and not found, I'm not a clan. And it's really annoying because I have to confirm every time you get a garbage rate. Massive, massive change. Okay, let me see this clan thing, so. I don't have a clan. You can donate, leaderboard, member, create. Okay, there's not much information on what clans actually do. Oh, you, you, gotta, you gotta buy a clan ticket? Can you not get it for free? Or level 50 or ticket? Okay, you can, you can do it for free. Okay, there we go. Is there a new stuff in the shop though? There's still these things. Sometimes they come in with a big bundle to skip the grind. I wouldn't buy it anyways, but how much is the first totem? Oh, okay. Now I just realized it probably is really hard like the stages because of the totems right just like the naruto the naruto is really hard but you got the totems they became easy so all right let me get to stage six because i mean doing raids is just like you're only gonna farm stage six and then uh, i'll be back i'm on the last stage uh but i don't have a rukia so i need to pull for her let me just make sure i auto sell anything but epics Let's hope this doesn't take too long. I guess I should have prepared since we had seen that Rukio was gonna be one of the characters of the update, but I just didn't, I guess I just didn't think about it. I was too busy farming rerolls, right? Oh, there she is. Took a little bit. Okay, the banner is a little, uh, the banner. First to evolve, she needs some water essence. So she becomes Riku Blood War and the Winter Cap. So she needs two evil mats from the raid, 120 here, and then the holifying pill. Why? She doesn't become a hollow. Let's see this uh, stage six though, how hard it is. It shouldn't be too, di too difficult. As I was going, I was thinking, is it gonna be too difficult to AFK farm? I feel like it's gonna be impossible. Unless it's like a very convoluted macro, which uh, I don't wanna make. Hopefully I just won't get unlucky getting Aizen. Yeah, I'm one-shotting them in the first wave. So one of the things in the patch notes is they, and this is something that I personally pushed a lot and I'm glad they listened. To be fair, my Benny model is glitched. <laughs> So yeah, he's pretty strong. They rebalance the stages to not be as one-sided. Cause how stages were is the first like three or four waves are insanely hard. And then as you upgrade your characters and just place better units, I guess, like you place down Gojo or something, like a really good unit, then the game is a joke at that point. Like th there's no difficulty. After that point, there's no tension, but before that there's extreme tension. The event Lasso appears, find and purify. What? Is it? Is it? Purify. Ah, okay. I was saying like, it shouldn't be like that. It should be, you know, the first few waves, another one. You can just keep increasing the souls you get. Like the first few waves, maybe have some tension, right? But also keep tension throughout the stage. The stage should get harder, not easier as the waves go. You know what I mean? I think that makes sense. To be fair, uh, raids are supposed to be easier than legend stages to begin with. So, or at least that's what I've been told. How much health? 14? I feel like they could have had more health here. Like wave 20, like wave one, they had 3 million. Wave 20, they should have like, I don't know, 100 million. Yeah, I one shot the boss. So I got tier six. I think the tier six guarantee dropped one. <laughs> I'm not going too crazy about it. Let me actually retry to confirm that. I'm pretty sure the tier six portal is a guarantee drop. Yeah, then is the first wave that had like 2 point something million. Only 10 times that for the last wave. Eh. Considering every, you know, everyone in this game is going to be using Overlord Plus. Because if you, I mean, if you use a unit with Shinigami, I don't know what to tell you. This is supposed to be a chill update anyways, right? We had two, was it three? Back-to-back -back extremely difficult <laughs> updates for some reason. The size of the map is back to where it was, where the enemies actually have room to walk and you have time to farm as well. Last update was also 7 a.m. and that completely ruined my sleep schedule. Like actually, since then, I've maintained the sleep schedule because I knew they were gonna also have a super delayed update again so that this time I don't feel like absolute garbage while recording. A consequence of it is that I, I'll be honest, a lot of people, they are gamers, might think, man, I wish I could just, you know, play games whenever I want and just, just screw having a sleep schedule, you know, just sleep whenever. Sleeping during the day is so 
So terrible. I want to go to the grocery store. Do you know what times the grocery store opens and closes? From 9 to 8 p.m. Do you know when I sleep? From 9 to 8. <laughs> LS, please. I want my life back. Oh, I lost so. Right there. I want to go to the grocery store. Yeah, it's a guaranteed tier 6. And then it's like, oh, you know, just wake up at 6 a.m., right? The updates are coming out at 6, 7 a.m. Well, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they come out at 2 a.m. Sometimes they come out at 7 p.m. There's no logic. All right, winter cap. Uh, let me see these other characters here. So Ichigo hollow form. Yep, that's the one. Hair comb is Kinji. That's the guy from the... I'm assuming it's the guy from the battle pass. Kin... Okay. Who is that then? Oh, that's the... It's the guy with the, the hair. How do you get that? How do you get him? There's no new drops anywhere. He wasn't in Banner 3, I checked. This one is for the, the guy from the Battle Pass. Fear. Is it these like hidden activities again? Like, can we not? Is this the one that you donate to? Let me let me do one. What element are they? It doesn't say it doesn't say what element they are, so I just brought in Benimar. If I can just get a bunch of tier 6 portals, then alright. I guess I there's like a specific mechanic I have to do that I just don't know. That's cool. That's uh, thank you for no warning. You know, in enemy world tower defense, when you go in a stage that has a specific mechanic, it tells you. Let's evolve Rukia though. That was a very fast animation. And then she becomes the Bankai release. Again, I don't know why. Why is it a holifying pill? She's not a hol <laughs> That's her Bankai. <laughs> okay. It was it supposed to go for someone else? Wait, does Aizen evolve? No. Why is there a new Aizen? That's the same Aizen, right? Like, this is Aizen about to go into Monster Aizen. Like, why is there even a new one? And I guess this new one becomes the Chair Aizen. So confusing. All right, I got the Holifying Pill, and I was wrong. I will definitely be able to FK farm this uh, stage. Glitch Benimaru. Yes! My savior! I just need the 25 cosmic essences. I farm- I made sure to farm essences of each before the update dropped, so that's cool. And we evolved, there we go. That was a quick and easy evo. I'm sure she's like one of the easiest characters to get evolved in this update. Let's see the blessing. Hmm. Why am I pantless, by the way? Did like the- let me, re let me rejoin the game. Did like the item I have, my pants get like removed from Roblox or something? I think it did! What? Those are just shitty gummy pants. There's nothing wrong with them. Now, it's on my avatar. It's just not loading for some reason. Oh, okay, let's watch this. Hey, am I, am I gonna just be pantless for now on? Okay, wait, this is a family-friendly channel. YouTube, give me better ads. <laughs> okay, this code is supposed to give you five, like, spin events. I don't know how that works. Oh, it, it gives you 500 coins, so you can do five spins. Oh, I see, I see. Maybe that'll do it, maybe that won't. <laughs> What I do know is that I'm gonna roll on this Rukia. Did it save the trade skip thing? It did. Oh, a glitch was right there. Okay, it wasn't before. So, let me get my auto clicker, and I won't have to stop clicking until I get a good trait. This update might not seem significant to some of you, but to me, who actually rolls on units all the time, Overlord quite early. Do I roll it off or do I first check out what she does? Mmm, because she could be hot garbage. She could be, right? We don't know. Also, by the way, I made a comment on the uh, stage not saying what it does. When you open the portal, it does actually say, Warning, this place has incredibly dense Ryatsu. Whatever that means. Maybe I need to use Shinigami characters in the stage or they get stunned. Oh. Alright, so let's check out what Rukia does. Uh, she is level 1, no skill tree, so we're not looking at her damage or anything. We're looking at what she does. Why am I... Where's my pins, bro? Oh, I brought the wrong farm. Dude, this is what I'm saying. Like, this stage is too hard. Okay, this range is... Hilarious. Uh, let me t <laughs> let me tell you. This range is hilarious. Why is it so tiny? At least she's hybrid. She does like a freeze on placement. Okay, makes sense. But should, they should do more than freeze. So passive. Apply frostbite to enemies who get close. Oh, her range is tiny because she has like, she has like a Gojo thing. She might be OP. Wait a minute. Let, let me let me let me test this. So let's place her right here. Yeah, th that's the effect right there. Frostbite. Not the the ice, but like a little little snowflake thing. Wait, she might be OP. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I might, I might have to give her glitched, guys. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I might have to give her all seeing. <laughs> and she has 1.5k to place. Maybe maybe she's gonna replace Gojo. I mean, let me not get too ahead of myself. One upgrade, she actually has decent range. Below zero arena. Does her passive change? I don't feel like it does. She's still doing the ice. I'm trying to see if she does another debuff or if it's just ice. Kai... Haka no tone. That's probably the line for her bank. I did say my sleep schedule is like proper 
for the update, but my brain is fried a little bit. Full AoE. Mmm. You know what? I think she looks really good. The passive's still the same. She doesn't get anything different or anything. Okay, okay. Yeah, I might, I might, I might give her better than Overlord then. She's kind of like Gojo, but different. Because like Gojo slows them down. I feel like she like stops them for a bit. She can even like freeze them right after as well. So yeah, I, uh, yeah. D does she keep doing it? Like how fast? I feel like they need to be like literally hugging her for it to work. But if you just place it strategically, that's all that matters, right? Let me remove the uh, the confirmation for Overlord. I'm taking Avatar or Glitched. Oh, see? Seamless. No hands, baby. <laughs> Dude, another Overlord. Pass right through. Uh, and see, I literally, I just told them, right? The devs say that they watch the videos. I'm not doubting, but I've said so many times how it's so annoying that you have to click confirm when you roll like a diamond, right? And only when I literally, I told them, like I told them directly, I, I, I put it on text and sent it to them. Listen, make it a feature <laughs> that you don't have to click confirm for a trashy cosmic, another overlord. And the next update they do it, like it, it was so simple. I need to stop complaining on videos and just actually annoy the ever living hell out of them until they implement everything I want. <laughs> oh, now that I say the... People are gonna be like, can you text the devs to implement this? And it's just like, can you can you ask a dev to give me rerolls? Avatar, go farm rerolls. I got 3,000 rerolls like farming, bruh. I wish they would just give me the rerolls. <laughs> I think if I pester them enough, they will. <laughs> nah, it's not even like a problem. Just, just farm the rerolls. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, if you can't, you can't, right? I feel like every other character is just so hard to obtain. I don't even know how you get the, the chick with... This one, the one that evolves with this, it's probably from that portal, right? Okay, let, let's try that portal again. Let me let me go back to my uh, this team right here. So my next attempt, I'm just gonna put on like a hard one, so I don't wanna. Cause if I fail, then I fail. It's fine. Do I need to use bleach units? So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him. No, he gets stunned. How do you get unstunned? I guess I'm gonna have to look up on Discord. Okay, I'm looking around. Apparently, no one knows. Oh, that sucks. Someone is claiming you have to finish his quest, like his whole quest, which it's a secret quest. You're not even supposed to know it. Okay. Must contribute 4,000 points to your team. Oh, you need to do all the requirements. Before we can commence our requires okay. I need 2,000 energy. So I need to do like everything from the start. I've, I've grant, dude. Hmm. I don't have it right now because I exchanged all my energy already. I've grinded so much energy before. I demand the hollow presence of Ichigo, the substitute got me. Oh, it's probably the one from the portal, huh? Okay, so you need to do his whole like quest thing. You need 4,000 points. I'm at 2,000, bro. 4,000? Nah, that's stupid. Nah. <laughs> nah. It's just, it's like these annoying quests that you have to keep doing. And like this one that gives like 25, you need 4,000? These secret quests just suck. Like they, they need to just stop doing them. Like it was a, it was, an idea, right? They had an idea to do this. It was different. No one likes them. It sucks. Just stop doing them. Like, it's just... Jo the JoJo one made everyone be ready to quit the game. Vanguard doesn't update in a month, so... People are gonna be more forgiving each time. <laughs> but that's insane, bro. So I can't do that. I can't, I can't do that. I just can't. But at least I'll now be able to farm this raid for reals instead. It drops 3 to 5, which is, I think... Oh, it's worse than the Naruto one. Hmm. But it does drop jewels. I do have 26,000 because I farmed alongside the energy that you're asking me to farm again. I don't know what trait you would need on Benimaru, but just, you know, zoom out and then place him here. And then that's it. And just upgrade and then restart. That's going to be my macro. But not even telling what you're supposed to do is something that they need to, like, understand that people don't like. This is every update now with these like secret quests. It's like, at the very least this time, they're saying, oh, collect this, 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 do all these very annoying and repetitive and things that you don't want to do. But you open the, the tier six portal that you get from this update and you're like, what am I supposed to do? It doesn't say, you just get stunned. I mean, I'm not even sure if that's what you're gonna, we're supposed to do, finish this quest. This is what people are saying. No one has actually done it. Yep, and uh, just Benimaru by himself kills. I'm gonna assume you will need probably Avatar for this should be possible when you're Benimaru, but it's not too complicated. Oh wait, something just showed up, Merchant. What is this? It doesn't work. Is there another secret thing that I don't know how to do? Like that. I'm not playing a puzzle game. <laughs> I don't want to figure things out, just tell me. Okay, this video is ending a lot less positive than it started. Maybe I should change the, 
the beginning clip. I've already recorded the first clip of me saying, yeah, last is here to stay or whatever. I think I'm gonna have to re-record this. This is kind of pissing me off, but I do like the quality of life feature, so. I'll level up Rookie a little bit more so I can, uh, I have no EXP stuff. Uh, it's fine, I'll manually farm. Uh, I'll manually level up. Okay, I was actually about to wrap up the video, but uh, Nido Queen has showed up in Banner. What is that? Perfect seal? She's like a different type. What? Wait a minute. Do I get our first multi here? Nope. It's fine, I have a uh, 26,000. <laughs> So, okay, a lot of people were like, how do you even get these uh, other characters? Because I was confused as well. Like, she, right? Kidinji, Fear, right here. Like, these characters, like, there was no way of picking them, of picking them up anywhere. Like, no one knew. So, okay, I need... Oh, my God. What is this? I need the Nido. I need 50... Oh, my God. I think I, I might not have enough. No! I'm going to have to do a dark and a water stage. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to start getting the thing again. I was unsure of what was going on. Like, they didn't force Banner to show any, like, new Bleach characters or anything. So, I, I was just really confused. Oh, and oh, yeah. Uh, I'm probably not going to actually end up max leveling Rukia because leveling up ultimate characters takes hundreds of stage completions. So, that's going to take hours. Uh, <laughs> I have to do that AFK. Uh, we'll buy the needing needle now i just need a uh... whoa wait the xp shot up on rukia what the hell i did like one i did like three raids and she went from level 50 to 51 or whatever it was like it was one level and i did like two raids and she went all the way to level 70 how does that work I... <laughs> what do you mean all right there we go got the essences all right evolve and that is a very interesting looking character, I'm not gonna lie, whoa. Her arms are a lot bigger <laughs> the anime. Nah, bro, this is demonic. That's a, wah, nah, <laughs> nope, nope. I'm going back to Rukia. All right, so uh, before we even roll her, I just want to see what she does. So I'll place her down. What I'm curious is, oh, yep, yeah, yep, yep. That's what I was going to say. It, what is this typing? Because it looks just like the neutral type, but it's like dark, I guess. Does it mean she's always type advantage? And that's exactly what it means. She is always type advantage, and that's her passive. That is quite interesting. So she does hemorrhage on placement, hybrid. Oh yeah, we're we're getting a trait on her for sure. She's always type advantage. That SPA is crazy though. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, she's extremely expensive to max upgrade, but... Oh, by the way, I didn't even show the Rukia VFX. I'm not showing right now. Okay. Listen, I'm sorry, but ALS VFX, I don't believe on them anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it's over. I'm not trusting. Once we get a trait and... So how many placements is she? Two. Once we get a trait and skill tree, the SPA is not going to look so insane. Because, like, the, the bigger their SPA number, the more it gets cropped down with the percentages and stuff. So... I'm assuming she's a good unit just from the fact that she's just gonna be slotted in like any team. I need to see her true damage, which is gonna take like max leveling. <sighs> Won't have a word on that, but that's 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 cool. That's cool. Would I say that's a passive though? That's her element. That's not passive. You know what I mean? Like you're being very liberal with passive. All right, let's see. Minimum avatar. Where is my auto clicker? Would be cool getting a glitch on this character since she is theoretically one that you can slot on every team. But we'll see here. Now they need to do for rolling is make it as fast as Vanguard's. Cause there's this like pop animation with each trait you get. Avatar. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. I mean, I'm I'm satisfied with uh, what we got here. So now I need to uh, get working on. But oh, the deal quest is still here. What? Oh, the deal quest is still showing up in World One. Hmm, interesting. I'll get working on this. Uh, hopefully, I'll have it done by tomorrow, and I'll have the video with Mugets. We'll definitely try and get glitched on him. We got uh, 2,800 rerolls still. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna go take a break. I need to go to the grocery store. It just opened. Thank you for watching. YouTube thinks you will like the video that's showing up on screen right now. And as always, more content to come, so stay tuned. Good luck.